I do not get Mr. Suckface out of my head. This is, this is my face. I've got my riffing jacket on. As you can see, the movie screen is down, and uh, Uncle Chester's going to show you if you ain't known me to wrestling movies. <laughs> oh dear, that does not sound good. No, um, we're going to do now what we sort of do for a living, and, uh, and have some fun with, uh, with a few short films. Uh, but to start things off, we thought we'd show you a sampler of uh, what we've done at Rift Tracks in the last uh, year, with some of the major motion pictures that uh, you might have known about. The studio releases. So let's roll the best of what we have done. What have you done, young Rift Track? Rift Track Sampler, 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here on this glorious day to witness the union of Edward Cullen and Bella Swan. Also, my Bible just burst into flame for some reason. <laughs> Must I now whack moles with my bare hands? <laughs> Don't you just soon when you see it? Golden Corral's new slogan. Arise, <laughs> Decepticon. Star Chunk. Thunderbucket. Slaptivus. Bulge Hunt. Snake Dilcopter. And Mortimer W. Clankety Bridge. <laughs> Seize a bone? Why don't I take care of these guys first and then we'll talk about that? Oh, come on. I want to ask you a question, Seize a bone! These American apparel ads are getting really sick. <laughs> this moment is a moment that you never forget. Yes. It's a moment when the tribute becomes a victor. Oh, oh, sorry, that was actually footage from Chris Brown's last date. Dragon balls. Dragon balls. Smoking! <laughs> Here's me planning an idea in your head. I say to you, don't think about elephants. What do you think about Miley Cyrus? Not more like peeing. Peeing. I am peeing. Well, whatever. Still peeing. Your ancestors called it magic, and you call it science. Well, I come from a place where they're one and the same thing. Arkansas. I have to do this. I have to kill you. He's gonna kill me. Just so we're on the same page. We're talking about Neville Cavalda, oh, boy! Right. That was my second guess. Please. Okay, but remember, once my penile barbs shoot out, I can't retract until we're done. Peter, my arm. Uh, oh, sorry, that should say Peter. Sorry, it's my handwriting. <laughs> I've always had lousy handwriting. Peter is obviously not a name. That's ridiculous. My name is Peter. Sorry for the big shot. It's, it's Peter. I'll go die in the Hunger Games now. <laughs> Wear a thong today. Why does Hulk ever wear a thong? Thank you. Something's we'll going on. Later. The wheels are coming off. Um, and um, those are those are the, the more recent movies we we do, obviously. But we we do these old educational question mark shorts. <laughs> Um, from various eras, and uh, this first one we have is actually really, really old. It's like from the 1930s, right? I think it was from the 1640s. 1640s, right. I think Galileo made this film. It's on Papyrus. Yeah. Um, and since it's so old, it's, it's, it's from the first age of man, we figured we would get the resident anti-Hollywood here. Mr. Jeff Goldblum. Hey, Mr. Goldblum. 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 Mr.
Oh, wow, that's good of you to say. Yeah, you just rock it. Uh, do you believe that it's true? Do, do I believe I'm a good dancer? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, I'm a great dancer. <laughs> I have a, I, I, you do you have a self-esteem problem? I move like the I move like a reed. <laughs> Will You're actually starting to sprout, Mr. Reed. You know what? I'm just heading over this way. You get your ass back here and riff with us. <laughs> and then the other way. <laughs> That's right. John, you're you're out of the light right now. Oh, right, really? <laughs> Sorry. That's um, okay. Now you're you're also a very well-dressed man. Thank you. I, we would dance. Um, You're you flying me with compliments. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you ever try? We'll get to the insults in a second. I'm the world's greatest uh, father. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an expert. I do not, I do not know if that is true. Um, do you use dry cleaners? No, no. I I, uh, I sponge all my clothes. You do? You hand sponge? A hand sponge. Hand sponge. Sponged and press. A hand sponge. Sponge and press. Like Harry Grant. Like Harry Grant in North by Northwest. North by Northwest. Excellent. Yes. Um, did you know that, that the dry cleaning industry is basically a gigantic vampire squid that circles the globe? And this short we have today is the origin of its treachery and nefariousness. Um, people apparently used to wash their clothes at home in pans of gasoline. Just very volatile gasoline. People in the 1930s did this. And the dry cleaning industry decided that they'd better start a propaganda film against that noble practice to promote their own service. So this year is called More Dangerous Than Dynamite uh, with guest ripper John Roderick. Please What's roll. Right? More Dangerous Than Dynamite. More Dangerous Than... Oh God, it burns! Make it stop! Oh my God! <laughs> Just get some aloe and gauze. I think we'll be fine. Oh God, the agony is unspeakable! Paratroopers are gutless cowards compared to people who stand next to heaters. <laughs> Gas holes and hose connections are the least. Permanent connections are better. Uh, honey, I fixed the lamp guard. Fuse plugs are the safety valves of your electrical system. To place pennies behind them is to remove that safety factor. But this is how they do it. It's so important. <laughs> <laughs> so then you can see when they're worn out. Yes, it still occurs in some of our best families, and it's nearly always fatal. Yeah, throw the bodies of our worst families on the flames to put them out. This is often as sure and as effective as the electric chair. Your home is more deadly than a World War I trench filled with lions. Comfortable dust mixed with air is highly explosive. Wrapped in paper, it can be burned safely. Have you one of these in your home? Open paint buckets, oil to drag, just the dish for spontaneous combustion. Also the dish for a last minute dinner party with the criminally insane. <laughs> but if not used in the cleaning solid, then brother, it is safer than milk. Put it on anything and everything. Hundreds killed in Chinese pigs gets the low billing. <laughs> you know, this time they had finished the railroad, so yeah, that's right. All women urge to avoid homes. Most people know of the fire hazards of gasoline and other flammable fluids. And then there's women! <laughs> gasoline in the kitchen or elsewhere in the home does not fully realize the true high explosive character of a mixture of air and gasoline vapor. Hank loves when my negligee reeks of diesel fuel. 
on the other hand, in dry cleaning establishments such as this, which have been licensed by the state, all work is under the supervision of men who are familiar with the properties of gasoline <laughs> and its fuel. That's why my business failed. They didn't put reputable on the side. Six Sigma. Uh, I can still use the hands of gasoline to wash my dog, right? Yeah. This is something that's fine. Like, that's it. Not a problem. garments to be cleaned are placed in one of these cylindrical metal washers. Dry cleaners are woefully understaffed ever since those Chinese quakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a gasoline or solvent is stored many feet underground in fireproof tanks. Oh, just diverted the gas to a drugstore soda fountain. Oh well. <laughs> the housewife, however, keeps her home supplies unprotected beside her. She is subject to distraction by other domestic duties during the time she is dry cleaning, and others, even her children, are exposed to this unnecessary peril. Run along, kids. Time for your program. Gassy the goofy gas can. Right. Right. constantly check state controlled dry cleaning plants to see that fire safeguards are in good working order. Okay, everything looks old gray and old timey, <laughs> just like it should. Yep. Even interior metal parts are grounded with heavy copper wire. Oh, so I can wash my dog in there. Yeah, don't free. Fine. When this one melts, the weight drops, automatically opening a dump valve in the bottom of the washer. The solvent is instantly drained safely into the underground tank, removing the danger. Where does it go? The world removing the danger. But what chance has a housewife without these safeguards? Leaving overhead steam. Man, boys, hiding in the rafters again. Shoo, shoo. Filling the room with live steam to smother the fire. If an explosion occurs, these roof hatches open automatically to relieve the force. Also handy on burrito and bean mats. <laughs> Fart. Electric lights are under vapor-proof glow. A veritable light bulb. <laughs> again, the fusible link coupling is brought into use. This time, to hold fireproof doors open against gravity. As part of our continuing war against gravity. A full on this valve releases steam into the washer room. But where are the steam valves here? Yeah, steam valves are for wussy boys. Open pans of gasoline, baby. <laughs> Heavy vapors are drawn to the roof by an air dump. However, fire shuts this draft off. Gasoline criminals are kept in the dungeon down there. <laughs> Asbestos blankets placed outside each building provide protection for the workers. Asbestos straight. We'll kill them one way or another. <laughs> Should the improbable happen, despite these precautions, the explosion would only force the hatches open against the valve lever, and presto, the tumbler is flooded with fire smothering steam. They're really proud of their damn steam. Yeah. Get over it. But still no protecting steam for the housewife. Now what, Eddie? Fires are extremely rare in state supervised cleaning plants. However, should one occur, here's how these safeguards work. It's a price. It is a price! Oh, automatically. The job's men complete the reverse, but the doors remain shut. Sorry, guys. We're just doing laundry. Can't we use soap and water? Fuck you, Smokey Bear, I guess. Uh, wow, Bob, can I get a little air in? Oh, that's just fine, I'll just die. I'm still my shirt's damn well going to be ready on Wednesday. Oh, please, dry cleaning shirt, can we leave the poor young mother alone? Oh, 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 oh. Surrounded by danger. The room slowly filling with flammable vapor, which even a tiny spark will explode. Ah, uh, quit plucking crutches, your pearls, buddy. This is how I choose to live my life. You only go around once. Fire on the stove. Flames under the water heater. Even if she does her cleaning outdoors, there is still the greatest danger of all, the invisible menace of static electricity. <laughs> to hell with Steve, I regret nothing. Don't run. The kind of animation it burns. Wait, not over her head. She'll inhale the flame. Oh, sorry. You want to do this narrator? Because you're not helping at all. Every day, ambulances pick up victims.
victims of gasoline fires. People filling their pools with gasoline. People using gasoline as mouthwash. People spraying it on the walls of their homes and laughing with insane pain. <laughs> behind the panels of this silent door. His thumb is all that remains of the mother. <laughs> Mrs. Jones, I'm afraid you'll have to lay off the gasoline for a few oh, days. Oh, shit, the doctor! Just for a few days. Even doctors, all too familiar with pain and suffering, are touched by the needlessness of such a scene as this. Yeah, he seemed really moved. <laughs> Deeply moved. For the last time, I won't kiss you. Fine, cow. <laughs> but what are the other victims of this useless tragedy? Well, I tried, but the nurse won't kiss me. <laughs> useless. The anxious father. His mustache shattered by grief. The bewildered children. Motherless, perhaps. We don't know this mustache guy. Help! <laughs> no, fortunately, not in this case. But their pretty mother withered and scarred for life. No, oh, she'd been ugly, nobody would have cared, right? So <laughs> no lesson, if you must wash your clothes and gasoline, have some goddamn steam handy, would you people? No! Burnt housewife, is that you?